joy. What is joy? It is a delightful spiritual fruit of hope that is not easily seen. That is why spiritual joy requires special eyewear. Welcome to Fruity Bites, where we are taking one bite at a time, feasting on such exotic fruits with bold flavors. Spiritual joy is defined as the one of many fruits that has been gifted to us by the Holy Spirit. Spiritual joy has several parts, including the joy of faith and the rejoicing of hope. First Peter 1, 8 through 9 talks about loving someone not seen yet believing and rejoicing, whom having not seen ye love, in whom though now ye see him not, yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Spiritual joy is everlasting and permanent. The Lord God is the source of all joy. The Bible does not teach that joy is automatically experienced in the moment of suffering. When Jesus suffered in the Garden of Gethsemane, the joy he found was what he would experience on the other side of his suffering on the cross. Knowing that he is bigger than any circumstance is the result of a solid and complete trust in Him. This trust comes from knowing that He knows and understands because He's gone through it. When troubles come our way, recognizing Him and by calling on Him as the one who can help us through our difficulties, Nehemiah 8.10 speaks about the joy of the Lord as our strength. In Nehemiah's day, there was sorrow over exiles not being in their homeland and their homeland being destroyed. Jerusalem's walls were torn down and the temple of God was burned. Nehemiah was commissioned by the Lord God to restore the kingdom and rebuild the temple. Nehemiah reminded them that their strength should be found in the joy of the Lord. Why? God made a promise to bring a remnant back to Jerusalem. And you can read about that in Isaiah 10 and 11 and Jeremiah 31. And in the books of Ezra and Nehemiah, we see the Israelites returning to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple and the city. Nehemiah encouraged them to remember the power of God as greater and sufficient to protect them from threats of military conquest and political opposition. Does that sound familiar today? When the people began to fear what was happening around them, their eyes lost focus. That's why we need special glasses, eyewear. Why should we be reminded that our strength should be found in the joy of the Lord? For the same reasons, to focus on trusting in the mighty God who is able to deliver. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 says, God said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. We can rejoice in God who can give us the strength to face all of life's challenges. If God be for us, who can be against us? He's given us his word to encourage us, right? 2 Corinthians 7 verse 4 encourages us that we can be filled with comfort and exceedingly joyful in all of our tribulation. Wow, what a statement. That you can be comforted when burdened, going through persecution and tribulation and trouble? It seems impossible. But again, have you heard these words, weeping may endure for the night. But when we get to the other side, 
Psalms 30 verse 5 says, Joy cometh in the morning. Believe it or not, in the midst of seemingly endless suffering, Isaiah 41 verse 10 tells us of his promises to be there with us through it all, offering strength and endurance. Until next time, may our eyes have clear focus as we look ahead at our joy while we endure the night.